Hey everyone, it's April 24th, that makes it a Wednesday. This is the Roger Williams Media Minute, and today I wanna to talk to you about social media planning. So yesterday's post, I talked about planning versus execution and how a lot of the times we let planning get in the way of just executing and getting something done. Well, today I kinda of wanna to go to the opposite end of that spectrum because while we wanna just execute, if we're to execute without a plan, Nothing's necessarily going to happen. We're not going to have anything that we can really measure. Um, and if we do achieve some sort of goals, we're not going to have anything to look back on to figure out, hey, what did we do that worked? And let's replicate that. So when you plan, you're creating a blueprint, if you will, that will allow you to put together the pieces of what's going to happen. And then if you're successful or you're not successful, you have a roadmap to go back on and figure out what worked and what didn't and maybe make changes here and there. I know I'm going metaphor crazy with all this stuff. I'm also going to talk about breadcrumbs and uh, I don't know, maybe something else. But either way, at the end of the day, if you're going to do a social media campaign, you got to figure out, first of all, what's that end goal? What are you trying to achieve by doing this? If you're trying to drive sales, great figure out how many sales you're gonna need in order for it to be successful. Because there is a cost associated with any social media campaign. There's time, there's technology, um, and then you know you might have to bring in someone to train you or train your staff in how to use this stuff effectively. So those are the costs you've gotta look at. And then if you're gonna drive sales, well how many sales are you gonna to need to at least break even? And more importantly, how many sales are you going to need in order for this to be a profitable venture? Because if you're not making money doing something, you know, I hope you enjoy doing it. But if you're a business, you've really got to be making money at it. So if sales are your goal, figure out who are your customers. Okay, Where are they online? If they're on Twitter, are they on Facebook, are they on LinkedIn? The answer is they're on all of them. Okay? But what you've got to do is you've got to search through and figure out who those are. Now the great thing with social media is that it's got a direct connection to the real world. Okay, People on social media are people just like you and me. And you can meet them and you can talk with them. And that's what I highly suggest you start off by doing. Go to your existing customers. Find out if they're on social media. If they are, you need to connect with them. You need to talk with them and figure out, hey, what do you want to see me talk about on social media that's going to be of interest and not drive you crazy? Okay, And that's going to be some great feedback for you right there. Then from there, you know, expand that. If you do um, networking groups or you meet with people in your industry, Make sure you're asking them not just for their business card and you know, but looking for hey, do they have a website? Do they have a Twitter account? Do they have Facebook? Engage them on that subject. And then when you get back to your office or you know, you can pull out your phone right there, engage them immediately again on all of those formats. So obviously you're gonna do a follow-up email. You might send them a letter if you're really, really professional and it's that type of relationship. Um, you're going to want to go onto their website, maybe leave some comments on their blog post. You're going to want to retweet some of their tweets or at least just say, hey, it was great meeting you. Um, you're going to want to like them on Facebook. You're going to want to see if they've got a business page on Facebook. You want to like that, maybe leave a comment there. Start interacting with them immediately after you've met them physically. And that's going to create a much stronger relationship and bond so that the next time they see you tweet something or like something on Facebook, they've got more to go with it than just who you are online. So make sure you're merging those worlds together. Now, when we're talking about sales, the social media sale is a soft sell. What does that mean? That means you are never, ever, ever to tweet or Facebook publicly to somebody, hey, you should buy my product right now. I've got a great deal going on. So instead of trying to do a hard sell or close someone right then, instead what you're doing is you're building that relationship. So with someone you've met uh, in real life, you're continuing that relationship on social media when you're not seeing them again. You know, you're sharing articles either that you've written or somebody else has written that is relevant to them and their business or their industry or you know whatever they're doing. Um, 
or you're retweeting whatever they've written, um, or you're just interacting with them and maybe asking them a question, or maybe they've, they've asked a question and you're answering that question. Uh, this is a great place where you go to LinkedIn, LinkedIn groups. There's a group for every single profession and industry out there. There's more than one probably. Join those groups, start scanning those boards for questions that people are asking and jump in when you have something intelligent to say. Um, and then all that that leads to then is when they do need your services, they're, you're gonna be on the tip of their tongue. You're gonna be what they're thinking about because you've been interacting with them the whole time. And so that's then gonna lead to sales. Uh, if it doesn't lead to sales, then maybe social media isn't the best channel, or maybe you need to reconfigure your goals of how you're tracking the sales and how you're measuring the effect that the social media is having on it. Once again, though, coming back to the theme of the day is planning. You do need to come up with some sort of a game plan that has a goal in mind, and then you put together the steps that are gonna get you to those goals and you track your efforts so that if it does work or it doesn't work, you have something to look back on and figure out what worked and what didn't. So that's what I've got. There's my email. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. How do you plan your social media programs? Did I miss something? I'm sure I did. Comments are down below. Uh, don't forget you can subscribe and like this video. We like that. And tomorrow's Thursday. So once again, we're getting close to closing out another week here. And uh, I'll see you then. Rock on.